Hey, what's up guys? Steve here, and welcome back to a new episode of Train Sim World 2. So today, we are trying out a couple of routes um, on the newly released uh, Isle of Wight um, route uh, from Rivet Games. So for those that have followed me on uh, Instagram, you'll know I posted some pictures of us trying this route out uh, beforehand. Really excited, really enjoyed the practice routes that we've done on this one. Uh, today we are doing the summer southbound uh, route. So um, that is basically starting from the Ride Pier Head Station and then heading all the way down to the terminus here. Um, and uh, and yeah, fingers crossed, it's about a half an hour route um, in this lovely old classic bit of rolling stock. Um, we've had a bit of practice, so hopefully we shouldn't suck at it too badly. Um, but yeah, as you say, up here on the pier, plenty of, uh, of nice views as we look around. Um, I've already gone through and collected a few of the collectibles that were here. There's some camera pods over there somewhere, and I think one down there, as well as some tickets and stuff. So let's, um, let's climb aboard. So we'll open the door. Cool. And then climb down. So... Perfect shot door behind us. We seem to be quite tall for this bit of rolling stock. We seem to be hitting our head on the way in. So, all right, let's plonk ourselves down. And put that in, turn that to on. Oh, that should be good. So let's unlock our left doors. So as you can see, the train itself is sat nicely in the station. We've got a short while before we need to load any passengers. So let's... Uh, turn a few bits on so let's turn on the headlights let's turn on the instrument panel lights yep so they're all nice and working let's put our reverser key in and set that to forwards listen to the horn more of a whistle than a horn but yeah it's there so let's put that to minimum and yeah as with everything else you know you've got um, all the usual bits you can do such as the window that opens and closes the front door which you can drive with open I'm still not worked out why that's there uh, obviously second door and window but yeah so everyone's starting to get on wait for these people to uh, to all board perfect so let's lock our doors Cool. All right, so let's release the train brake and set that to full series. There we go. All right, perfect. So we're away. So the first stop is literally just at the end of the pier there. So let's try not to speed or do anything silly. So there we go. Let's put that back to shunting. So yeah, nice simple train to try and uh, try and control. You've got two uh, two different controllers, so one brake and one accelerator pedal. Panel, we go like that. So how good that looks. I love this. There's a few quirks, you know. There's a few uh, elements to it that uh, that that have a little bit of a um, strangeness to it. One of the routes we ended up um, getting. Uh, we ended up getting stuck with his in the shunting on one route round, so um, I'm not sure what happened there. And it, but the route took like 40 minutes, and it's supposed to take 30 because we were crawling along at like 20 mile an hour. But other than that, it's pretty good. Um, yeah, so I've practiced the first couple. There's this one, and then the return journey, which is um, done at night. So uh, get some uh, some of the screenshots you'll see from there. So let's this into hold and we'll gently slow it down All right stop for some reason I don't know whether this is just how I've set it up but I don't have the carriage stop marks shown on the um, on the ground it just shows you like a obviously a, a, an end point here that might be something that I'm doing wrong but we will see All right perfect so we'll stop there so let's Unlock right. Let's watch the people come in. So it's that gink to the back because then you can see them coming in. But yeah, all the town's pretty cool. I like the way that the road goes down the side there, um, right the way to the end of the pier where there's a car park which you can go in. And uh, yeah, it's pretty good. 
exactly we've got the red light coming up here where we go into the tunnel so we're probably going to be held there for a little bit depending on how uh, how quickly people get on and off and we can sort of load up but yeah generally as I say first impressions of this route are, are amazing I would say I've not because obviously I had train sim world the first one and not uh, train sim 2020 or whatever it was um, not been familiar with the Rivet Games' um, routes but you know it always seem to be well designed the the, the, the different sort of like um, training sessions seem to be pretty good as well um, just see there one of the collectibles that you've got in this um, in this map which is a, a an ice cream uh, standard also got the map there which is there and if you look a little bit we'll try and find one as we're going around but yeah you've also got um, some tickets that are stamped and that you have to um, that you have to do and uh, and then these cameras that are placed around the different uh, different um, stations excuse, sorry, stations um, that are there for uh, you to collect um, and, uh, and and take pictures of I guess it's I'm not sure how it how it looks but yeah they basically take photos and let's put that to hold slow down a little bit on speed through this as we go down um, but yeah, it's it's very well. We're going to go in the dark tunnel here. This is probably going to go quite dark. Yeah, there you go. So let's take that off. Let's add some speed there. Cool, perfect. It's very relaxed. The scenery in here is is a mixture of obviously you know like we had there in terms of the pier and the urban environment, and then as you get a little bit further out, it kind of goes to uh, you know a bit more rural, a bit more. Uh, kind of, uh, sort of countryside, which you know, the Isle of Wight is that. If anyone's ever been, it, it's it's a mixture of sort of very, uh, very sort of, I suppose, sparsely uh, populated areas and, and 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 lovely green open countryside, and, uh, and then a mixture of, uh, of urban environments where you've got a lot of people, uh, a lot of tourists and things like that. So, um, yeah, lovely place to go. If you've never been, definitely suggest going. Um, it's, uh, it's very. It's like, I know a lot of people tend to retire in down there, and uh, as I say, it's, uh, it's a nice, peaceful way of life. Right, so we've got we've got 530 odd yards where we are. Ride St John's Road platform. But let's not go. Me sort of work out our speed a little bit here because we don't want to go too fast. And then find ourselves overshooting, or worst case, going through a red signal. But the next one's green, so it's nice and easy. But yeah, look, look at that. Let's take it. Also, got the bridge. There we go. So that very, uh, very leafy, very, uh, very rural. It's a couple of hundred yards to go, and it looks like as we get further around to the town, we get a bit more speed because you've got a 45 mile an hour zone there. So hopefully, we can uh, can get this thing a little bit. Uh, a little bit faster. Right, so let's go under the bridge. Yeah, got a little bit. Let's start to apply a bit of brake. Yeah, Slow down, lovely. And quite a few people waiting here, so let's try and stop on our marks and not overshoot too much. So this is where a lot of this sort of the, or the first training scenario started because you've got the like the sheds on the right hand side here. Like that two one. Near enough. All right, cool. So let's unlock left. All right, perfect. So let's. So you'll just see there. I don't know if you can see it out at the bottom there. Uh, you've got the camera. Just wear that grey uh, guys in the grey t-shirt. So yeah, that's one of the other collectibles uh, that you can get. Um, as I say, yeah, you just basically create a photo, and I guess it's the photo of you coming into the station, or I can't remember what that one was. But yeah, it's pretty cool. And then somewhere around there, oh, you'll see another ice cream one there. And then there's a ticket one somewhere. I'll try and find you one of them so you can see what they look like. But they're basically just like normal rail card tickets um, that sit in various different places. As I say, some are really obvious places like pinned to boards. Um, uh, spoiler for those that are still trying to find them. Uh, a couple of them are in windows. So they seem to be stuck on the side of windows. So yeah, they're a little bit, um, uh, a little bit weird and harder to find in some. I believe there's one camera, which I've not found yet that is a pretty big trek away um, for those that have this on PC it's uh, if you go to the Steam uh, page for this it's uh, they've got a guide on there uh, as to uh, 
as to how to uh, how to find them because it's uh, it's apparently quite difficult to find. Um, I, I say I still haven't found it myself. All right, perfect. So through the green light, through this sort of like junction and different uh, area here. Um, yeah, this is where we do a bit of shunting. I think there's a, a later scenario, if I remember rightly, that, that, that involves a bit more area here. So you do get that um, sort of shunting and, and sort of putting things in and out of service more so than, than the different routes here, just going backwards and forwards. So, um, all right, let's hopefully gonna go yeah good so we got that up to a slightly faster speed this will work there we go cool got a bit more power you can see the little amps going up in the bottom right there um, to get a faster speed so we're now starting to pick up speed as it's picking itself up um, we've got 900 jars I think we'll get to the station before we get to uh, that red light in the top right perfect so we're starting to get closer towards our speed up. So we'll just turn the power down a little bit. There we go. We are just going uphill a little bit. So we should, uh, should scrub some of the speed off. Um, but yeah, we're 400 yards into the station. So we'll just gently start to slow down. Still maintain a bit of speed. We want to arrive on time if we can. So we're going via location, so we are having to stop here. Sorry, I really wasn't paying attention to that. Um, so I'm guessing there's a rail here that, or maybe a crossing or something that we have to stop at so that a train potentially could come the other way. Let's slow down a bit. Wait for this light to go green. The light's still red, so yep, there we go, perfect. Let's give it full beans. Got, actually we've got 200 yards so we probably don't want to give it too much uh, so this is Smallbrook Junction platform so yeah as you can see the railway kind of goes into one because this is quite a small platform right let's start applying some brakes cruise in here gently not too much so got people kind of just waiting over here on the right perfect go there we go that'll do all right let's unlock right so cool so these people are getting on as you can see very narrow station here um pretty oh, let's, the railway goes off in a different junction there so don't know where that one goes I'm guessing it goes off somewhere um but yeah guys i hope you're all well hope you're uh, having a good week so far and enjoying the video um we have got a couple of routes we can do on this one, which I'd like to try and get a couple of these in uh, while this is still quite new. So we'll do this one and then the uh, the next one probably in the next video. So uh, we'll try the, uh, the the northbound version. Instead of, oh, what's that guy doing? That guy's stuck in the door. Uh, yeah. So um, so yeah, we'll try and get both of these done, and then uh, yeah, we'll we'll also get back into um, some more tourist bus we've got a tourist bus video coming up after this um and then yeah back into the usual other videos that we've got so if you've enjoyed um these uh, train videos as opposed to the usual uh, bus videos um then yeah don't forget to like the video if you've uh, it's the only way we can sort of tell or i can tell that we uh, that these are uh, worth carrying on with and uh, if you want to see more trains in world 2 then uh, yeah Put that in the comment section below and uh, we'll try and get some different routes there is the Bo Bakerloo line which is out on uh, part of the new uh, the second one which we uh, which I also wanted to try been trying to practice on that but I haven't really had a chance to um, as well as some of the other routes that we've already done before so there's also I think there's a newer route coming out as well for um, one of the German routes if I remember rightly coming out uh, in a couple of days so um, that's uh, that'd be pretty cool if that's uh, if that's worth trying out, I haven't really tried out the sort of newer uh, German trains in this one. Um, we might have to try that uh, another time. We'll get these on to get this one out of the way because I say really am enjoying this particular route. Um, definitely think it's a it's, it's a great um, a great route and a great sort of um, uh, a great thing by Rivet Games. So yeah, they're, uh, 
definitely definitely it's if you're thinking about buying it i know it's a short one i know it's only got a few scenarios in it but it's um yeah i think it's well worth it definitely think it's well worth it if you're interested in your sort of older um sort of rolling stock which in theory is you know this is your sort of traditional old british underground train um then yeah 100 worth it um, definitely worth trying um, and yeah so see if you like the baker line 100 you'll like this um Okay, yeah, it's 25 quid, but you probably spend more on other DLCs than uh, uh, for, for other bits and pieces, and, and you know, definitely think it's worth it. So, so yeah, go and get it. Like I said definitely buy it. Right, so let's get this one here. Let's get a little bit quicker if we can. We've got a couple of miles before we need to go. We are going to get a speed change, I think. Yeah, we are getting a speed change coming up, so we are getting a 40 mile hour. Is, let's turn that down a little bit. We're going downhill, so we're starting to pick speed up a little bit. Let's slow that down. Perfect, 45. 40 zone picks up very soon, so we'll slow down just a little bit. 3, 42, 41, 40. Cool, nailed it. Look at that. Um, we are going down, so we are picking up still a little bit of speed. Let's just put a little bit, gentle bit more brake on. There we go, so about 10% break, that should be fine. Um, and we've got about 0.9 of a mile to the next stop, which is at Brad, Bradding, uh, Bradding platform. So, uh, yeah, we're basically heading uh, straight through. I can't remember, forgive me, I know this is rubbish, but we're going. So, Shanklin, there we go. Uh, that was where we were going. I'm trying to remember the name of the final station. Oh, God, I'm atrocious at this thing. Um, but yeah, so that is where we are heading to, which is the sort of far end of the uh, the, the route itself. Uh, so yeah, it's uh, yeah, we've got two and a half miles. We've got a red light. Okay, that's fine. We've got uh, we've got 900 yards or 500 yards to a slower point. So we'll get a little bit closer before we start to slow down. We don't want to be too late to this next stop. Although the one thing I have noticed is I'm guessing because we're playing scenario rather than timetable doesn't actually have an arrival time look at the top left there it doesn't have an arrival time so i guess that's just how they work perfect there we go so almost a perfect hitting point there for the 20. probably now gonna find ourselves getting a little bit over i don't know no that's fine and then we've got 350 yards till we get to the station, so we should crawl in nicely into Bradding. And it should be easy to, uh, to get to, so let's mind the crossing there, level crossing. No, pedestrian crossing, that's what I was looking for. Alright, cool. So 150 yards to go. Let's slow down just a little bit. So. I'm guessing at some time potentially this had two lines of track on it because at the moment it's only got one side of the station and there's nothing on the right hand side. Right, perfect. Let's gently cruise in. A bit slow, but we'll do, we'll manage. Cool. There we go. All right. Perfect. All right. Let's unlock right. Let's watch these people get on. So yeah, as you can see, they probably had an, a, another line going through there. Uh, which would have meant that side of the station would have been useful um, but at the moment no nothing really that would come that side very strange but yeah I guess that's just the way that the railways had been uh, had been changed and uh, stuff that wouldn't have been used would have been uh, would have been kind of removed and then redone but look plenty of houses and stuff around here car uh, park I can't actually cycle around that far god this is making me sick um, but yeah as I say it's uh, I know we're only playing this at the moment in HD and not 4K. Um, don't see much uh, much point in trying this 4K for uh, for YouTube at the moment, but um, one day I'll maybe upgrade and be able to run this in 4K at reasonable rates. Right, uh, so let's wait for this to lock, and we will lock right. There we go, perfect. Right, let's release the brakes and head. Oh. Gentle, too much wheel spin. Right, there we go. So we have, so we're still in a 20 mile an hour zone. 
goes 40 literally right as we exit the station and then we've got another stop at Sandown so let's do that let's put that into forward two hopefully pick up the amps there we go we'll start to pick up speed yeah there we go plenty of power I, I don't know if this is the right way to drive this train I'm not I'm, you know, I'm not going to uh, confess to be you know the best train driver in the world ever I enjoy it I'm not ever going to do it um, train driving does run in my family um, my uncle uh, was actually an intercity train driver for when uh, for those that remember the older intercity 125s uh, he did used to uh, do those uh, sorry drive them um, into London and out um, from from places like Liverpool so uh, yeah so there's some, some, some heritage in the blood somewhere of train driving but definitely don't think I, uh, I picked up too much of that uh, on, on my behalf so let's uh, slow that down a little bit there we go perfect right and then we've got what well, we've got 0.9 of a mile to get to the next speed change and about one long Get to stand down. Just watch the outside. So there you go. So this is what I mean. Sort of this is the more you know, rural side of things. And uh, yeah, we may got the back of it. So yeah, heading down. But nothing that we're going to crash into or uh, break speed limits whilst we're looking at this. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I like this. I really do like this. I think as I get more into train sim world it's kind of uh, kind of more, more enjoyable as you start getting into it obviously you know, I'm not playing this in any way shape or form you know to some lengths that some people drew in terms of you know taking off the hard and learning all the buttons and, and everything but these are quite simple trains I think in most cases and uh, quite easy to drive but yeah I think I could definitely probably do better but I don't know we'll uh, We'll get we'll get more practice. We, we tried to master buses for like 18 months, and uh, you know, arguably, still not getting any better at driving it. All right, so we've got our 15 mile an hour zone coming up here. So let's gently slow ourselves down. As you can see there, we've got a train waiting for us to go through. So again, another area where we are um, kind of having to you know, would have to wait for another train should we be coming the other way. Um, let's slow down a bit, there we go. So it's got quite an incline on it, so we should naturally slow down as we come into the station. So coming into people's back gardens on the left, so shed. Right, let's put this gently onto shunting, we'll just adjust a little bit of power and a little bit of brake to try and keep ourselves, I'm sure this isn't how you do it, but just to try and keep ourselves going at constant speed. Perfect, so as we come in that train's now leaving. So, has it gone down to a 10 mile now? Did I miss that? I must have done that. Right, cool. Right, perfect. Oh, too slow, too slow. Come on, just crawl in gently. There you go. A little bit over enthusiastic with the brake. Right, perfect. So, unlock left. There you go. So, as you can see, yeah, railway line going there, and then there's some sidings and stuff down here, I guess. Yep, sidings and a old muddy path, which I'm guessing is where they're doing the work down the far end there. But yeah, again you've got, I don't know if I can show you any here, but again here you've got another, let's go around here, so you've got another camera there, and uh, ice cream stand just behind that hut there, and I'm pretty sure there's another one there, yep, so there's two at this station for those who do it. I don't know if you can see, see where the two, where the ice cream stand is, just to the left of that is where the ticket is, you can see it just in the top left of that second brownish square um, just below that roller sh shutter um, so that's basically one of the things that you uh, you have to click on and it finds the uh, finds a ticket so that's all of pretty much all of the uh, all of the different um, sort of collectibles and there's a map here somewhere I think the one on this one for those that care is in the underground and oh, no, it's just there at the end sorry there just on, by the underpass right there we go so for those that are trying to collect them all they, you're welcome all right Let's go, not too much power. Here we go, 10 mile an hour, stick at 10. All right, we've got a green light here, so we're good to go. Where does the 15 mile an hour go? So it's here somewhere at the end of the platform. 
do with this going a little bit quicker. Okay, let's go 15. And then there's a 45, yeah, 45 coming up here. So we've got what 0.7 of a mile to go to Lake Platform. So we've got Lake next. We're speeding a little bit. to go 45 I guess that's as we go past it yep there we go as we go faster to the back let's go there go there and there like right, this should there we go perfect get ourselves back up to there now don't do what I did in my practice uh, route so the way that I've got the keys mapped and I guess the default map on my keyboard um, when you select between forward 2 and forward 1 accidentally pressed it into reverse which apparently decided to chuck the train off of the track which isn't ideal um, yeah it automatically made me fail the mission and uh, yeah it wasn't it wasn't ideal so don't don't do that if anyone gets the urge to do it don't um, unless you fancy uh, fancy trying to redo this again all right cool so we need to apply some brakes otherwise we are about to overshoot This isn't going to work. Okay, we've overshot. We've overshot. Slow down. Slow down. Slow down. There we go. We kind of missed us. Missed it by a little bit. It's fine. Oh, we'll notice that we should have been back there somewhere, and we're here. These people won't mind walking. They really won't mind walking. Oh, look, there's another camera there. Yeah, we've got them. Um, right. So yeah, look this. They're they're walking down. They're fine. They 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 won't know the difference. Sorry. Um. All right. Let's set that to hold. There we go. That's fine. That's fine. All right. Good. So we should be ready to go once we've loaded everybody on board. Look around. See. Look at all the new houses here. More new houses. Oh, look, caravan. Um. And yeah, I think that's pretty cool. All right. Sky, I don't know. I read somewhere, or I might have seen somewhere, that obviously with Train Sim 2, or Train Sim World 2, sorry, uh, having the newer updates, things would look better. They do look better. They seem to, there's the weird thing about the railings, uh, not railings, the sleepers in the railway popping in is still pretty much the same. But I guess it's one of those things. All right, cool. And then, where are you going? Where are you going? Oh, hang on. Turn the brake off. There we go. That's better. All right, so we've got a mile before we get to Shanklin, so that should be our last stop. Um, in the front of the train reminds me. Yeah, Shanklin. So there you go. Um, this will be our final stop, so we are 0.9 of a mile. And uh, we, we get down to a 15 mile an hour in 0.8 of a mile. So just as we're crawling into the train into the uh, station now so let's back this off gently there we go we'll cruise on into the station and uh, we've got so we're going to get a red light before we get to the train station we might just you know 8.6 mile I'm not sure what's going to come first so we will we will see we'll go in gently and, uh, and see what happens first so we've got a bit of an uphill gradient under that a little bit of power what are we in? something one that's fine uh, sorry forward one so that's nice and easy Eight more houses there's no sound difference when you uh, when you drop the window which I know in the other ones there are um, right let's gently down a little bit because we're going to come into a 15 mile an hour zone anyway. 107 yards, so let's gently slow ourselves down. Oh, back it off a little bit. So we're going to hit the 15 mile an hour, which is there. And hopefully, should. Yeah, perfect. So let's slow down gently into a gentle stop without causing anyone whiplash 
Ah, oh, final stop. Oh, really? There we go. Perfect. Alright, so let's unlock left. Oh, we'll let these people get off. And uh should be the end of today's job. We'll wait for these people to get on. But yeah, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this. As I say, the route itself I really like. And uh, we'll see what the other routes are. Obviously, the next route is just doing the reverse of what we did, but a bit later. And I think at night, so it's it's kind of like twilight. And uh, yeah, as I say, if you want to see what that looks like before the episode, go and catch my Instagram. You'll see some pictures of that route. Um, that I did in practice and uh, yeah I think the it, it's it's really well detailed and I really like it um, and I think at night it just adds that extra thing of all the buildings lit up so yes yeah, it's really it's really good and really fun so all right we're almost done let's jump back inside because we're gonna have to shut everything down all right, perfect all right let's lock left perfect Right, set the train brake to EP max, which is there. Let's set the reverser to off and take it out. Let's set, where is it? Try and get the hold of it to off and take it out. Perfect. Let's jump up, take. All right, this needs to be set to 30%. And then you've got to wind this handle. I love this. This is such old engineering. Look, ready? Watch. Go. There we go. Look at that. Like a vice. Oh, perfect. All right, cool. And let's set that to Westington House Hold. Sounds like a wrestling move. The Westing House Hold. All right, perfect. All right, there we go. And that was it. So, as you can see, we had a few weird greennesses but i guess that's all stops um we got within i think five or six yards of each one apart from that one which we did 39 yards over but anyway we still did it that was all right um and yeah i think i say we've got some bits i've obviously been doing some bits and pieces with other routes and stuff and we've got it there but um yeah i think that's um i think that's pretty cool so I think probably what we'll do, guys, is we'll leave that episode uh, for now. And uh, and we will end today's episode on that cheery note. So, guys, if you've enjoyed this route, if you've enjoyed the uh, Rivet Games' version of the Isle of Wight uh, route, then uh, please, please hit the like button. Um, if you've enjoyed what you've watched and you haven't already subscribed to the channel, please click the subscribe button. Um, and don't forget to click the bell notification icon so you can be updated when new episodes come out. But uh, also, guys, if there's any questions, queries, comments, or suggestions for future episodes, please put those in the comment section down below. Um, but yeah, guys, as always, thanks for watching, and I look forward to seeing you all again soon. Take care. Bye.